let me show you how to set up the Flex MLS search tools to our suite sites. Um, you know, we I highly recommend IDX Broker, but some folks want to use something a little different. We understand that. And uh, it's inc included in their MLS. Let me just show you a couple things here. So basically what you'll do is you'll come over here to the Builder tool. Click there. You want WordPress widgets, and look at all these options here. Flex MLS, click location searches. So it looks like there's about three or four. Let's see if we drag this market statistics over here. And uh, so market statistics. And I don't know how what you know options they have here. Let's set prices, location. I saw Somerville. Then maybe we'll just save it as that. Type and display. Okay. So I, I don't, I don't know enough about these widgets to really know how they work. Uh, let's put in an IDX slideshow down here. Uh, let's put active listings. Let's put three. Three. Medium. I don't you know. Let's put residential. Again, I don't I don't even know what the I think that's gonna pop up. If I knew a zip code, then maybe we could put that in there. I did so let me save that. 5,000 listings. So let's publish it. So it looks like I didn't get enough information. This has got Okay, so here's Is this that slideshow we made right here? Okay, and so I made it go too fast. There's not enough listings. So let's edit it here. Click on this. I just don't even know. Oh, how many by how many? Okay, so it's three. So let's try five. And let's make it flexible so that maybe it goes. And then how long it's going to show? Let's say four seconds. Okay, now we're getting some options here. So recently changed additional fields. We want bedrooms and bath. Send users to, you know, I guess whatever this. Send users to listing detail. Let me click a photo. So it looks like there's a little more info there. So let's put done and publish. So I'll be honest, I'd probably be tempted to pop one of these. In here. Yeah, because this shows. Let's 
Somerville. I'm going to see if I can type one of these in. Ion. Okay, and we, so these are these are some of the options you can add here. So that should be in the footer. Let's see if we reload this page. What it looks like. Okay, so now we've got five across. Yeah, now we're starting to get some information here. Again, that looks like it's now it's spinning too fast. I've got ion. If I click here, it should take me to. Okay, so that's five by three, five across by three down. So maybe we want to, these look pretty small. Let's see if we can change that a little bit. Now we've got it, we're going somewhere with these listings. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking they might be a little small. We want that size to be flexible. Let's put it five seconds. So, ion. Yeah, there's recent price changes. Okay, so now that's getting a little bit bigger. And, and I can see where this is just too many. You know, we'd probably want to make it like a four by one because by the time the pictures load, the computer's already flipping to the next one. And now that looks like they're loading. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this again. So we'll put here that we want display and property type residential. We'll show all areas. Okay, let's reload it. I think we're going to slow this down just a little bit. Let's. Here's the market stats. I want to just put one row on here. And let's fix this. This market stats looks too. Can we get a hundred percent? Is that an option? Okay, so now we've got this uh, market stats. We're showing some listings. 
Seems a little more reasonable, right? Let's just add in another one. Let's come down here. Let's get WordPress widgets. Let's throw in a search. I will make it on a new row. So what I'm seeing is it looks like there's some settings. We save it, and then after it saves, then some of the data starts coming available here. So let's publish that. Reload that page, and there's an IDX search. Looks good. So we can, you know, now start Somerville City, search low to high. This is search trashed, so I'm not sure what's. What's going on there? But let's go back. Let's review this. So it looks like there's a bunch of options here. Let me set these all kind of as the defaults. Okay, and you can see it. Put them down here. So again, we're going to try Summer Somerville area. That didn't work. I want to try this. One of the options. Oh, here it is. Send it to a, a frame. So you would need to send these URLs over to uh, to uh, Flex MLS and see kind of what the issue is that. Like I said, we don't really uh, support that too much. I'm going to actually install a New plugin that I like. So if we go here to widgets, 
this actually gives us another option here where we can um, we can put some information here Sure, popular let's just stick this over here on the short code one Okay, and we save that. Then we come back here. Somerville, let's hit Beaver Builder, so it's actually throwing a little HTML one here. So even though when I hover over it, it says search trashed, so I don't know what exactly that means. So something's a little kooky there. So if I copy this link location, So there's a comma, so this, this is what that looks like to me. Yeah, so it's loading. I think it's trying to set up a frame or something and load this in there. I don't know. 